Alright, hello everyone and welcome back to Kotobo Space Program, where today we are having a look at yet another fun mod, this time in the form of Dr. Jet's Chop Shop, which is being made by forum user, well, Dr. Jet, it sits in the name of the mod, so kind of hard to forget. And yes, this is a very interesting mod that I actually... I, I saw way back, I think in either June or July, but wasn't able to cover, but uh, recently they had a little update to it, so it brought it back into my field of view, and so here we are taking a gander at a somewhat eclectic parts pack. You know, generally you have a centralized theme. This one is a little bit all over the place, but I love it because it has some amazing parts. So let's head into the VAB and take a look at said intriguing parts. And to start off, I gotta point out one wonderful, wonderful thing. Now normally I just switch between all these tabs because mod makers don't seem to take advantage of all these lovely filters, but thankfully Dr. Jet has. And here we go, we have the Dr. Jet's Chop Shop tab right in here. One problem with it though, it forgot two parts. It seems to have everything except for these two parts in here, which we'll go over first. So, uh, as usual, let's grab a random command pod here to, uh, you know, show off the size of different parts for this mod and take a look at the first two pieces that, uh, for some reason didn't make it into the filters over here. We have a deployable Sky Crane Mark One, and this is gorgeous. Look at that beautiful little part. A uh, very interesting texturing job. Not quite stock alike, but I love it nonetheless because of this. Ah, oh, look at that smooth, beautiful animation. And that, that's your Sky Crane. Instant Sky Crane. You just deploy it and you have four lovely little rockets to help propel you, well, well, slow your descent, really, to the planetary surface. And it comes in two varieties. We have the Mark I uh, and then the Mark II, which is just a much larger version, but still that lovely, beautiful, smooth animation. I, I don't know why animations make me so happy in this game, but I love a part with a good animation. I'm a sucker for it. And so, yes, we have this lovely little sky crane that, you know, really helps save on parts for when you are trying to do a some form of sky crane mission because well bam there you go it's right there just waiting to be used now that we have those out of the way let's take a look at the manufacturer tab and uh have a gander at the rest of the parts we have in here now we have a variety of parts from structural to engine pieces to science bits to utility fuel cells just it's all over the place, which is why I said it's kind of an eclectic mod. So let's just go through it uh, one by one, starting from the top. So we have these new structural rays. Actually, I th at least I think that these are the new ones. Uh, the recent update, which was uh, this week, brought in... Yeah, I'm looking at my other monitor right now. Yes, yes, these parts here should be the new ones. So we have different structural hubs, which, uh, look at that beautifully large thing, which is very cool. I like having these sort of structural hubs for making space stations and having these larger sizes and of different shapes and, you know, different ways of moving about. Like I love this three-way one because, well, that means you can make a, you know, just a different style of space station or ship. It's very cool. And of course, they're the 2.5 meter size, so you can make much larger structures. Then we have the four-way and then a six-way one, which is made for the smaller parts, the, well, I guess 2.52, 1.25. Ah, yeah, so 2.5 on the top and bottom and the 1.25 on the sides. And yeah, it's a glorious six-way adapter, so you can make some very interesting ships with these. And yeah, I love these. We don't we don't have a very wide variety of them in stock, so it's very cool to see more being added in. Let's grab those off and head down to the next tab. Let's actually grab a fuel tank to attach these to. It'd help if I went to the right tab. There we go, and back to manufacture where we'll be taking a look at the aerodynamic blister. And I quite like these because they're sort of, you know, radial engine mounts for you to use. So you can just attach an engine down here. Uh, let's just grab a random one real quick. Now that we do need to be at the engine tab. Yes, a jet engine, that's perfect. <laughs> so it's a nice little radial mount and it is, hold on, let's go back to it. 
it is supposedly aerodynamic, but it doesn't, it just has a low drag for it, so it won't add a whole lot of drag to your ship. And then we have a much larger 2.5 meter one, so you can uh, make some very large rockets and uh, put some of the larger engines down here on the bottom of your ship, very cool. We also then have a different variety of them with a decoupling version. Uh, again, it's the same sizes. You've got the 1.25 uh, and the 25 meters, and they are self-decoupling, so you don't have to worry about you know, you yourself you're dropping a much larger stage. You can just drop away these engines, leaving a central fuel tank. Very cool. I do like them. And, of course, I actually didn't point this out earlier. They do have uh, solid fuel in them, apparently. That's interesting. <laughs> uh, but, yes, yeah, a very cool little uh, decoupling aerodynamic blisters. Oh, these ones are engines. Oh, I didn't notice that before. I thought that these were the same as these. These ones are just for putting an engine on. They do not have fuel whatsoever. These ones, on the other hand, the decoupling ones, apparently they are engines as well. Yeah, no fuel crossfeed. They have 70 thrust, 100 uh, atmospheric ISP, 100 vacuum. Very interesting. So these are solid rocket engines. I had not noticed that earlier. I just figured they were the same as those from the look. But okay, there we are. Those are decoupling radial solid rocket boosters that's that's quite interesting uh then uh, we have these aero spike adapters we have two of them in here so just two different varieties though to me they look identical but we have an aero spike uh, adapter and a small aero spike adapter to me they look exactly the same but hey you could be able to uh you know do something fun with these uh, we then have a DAS-1 deployable antenna, which is a fun little... Oh, God, it'd help if I didn't put it in a weird spot. A fun little deployable antenna, very similar to the antennas that we saw in the CubeSat mod a while back. We just got these nice, fun, thin little antennae that go out. Very cool, very fun little transmitter. We then also have an LED headlight here, which uh, reminds me of those LED sticky... Uh, things that you can like put on the bottom of your count uh, your countertops etc but yes there we go nice little uh, spotlight and just like any other light in the game you can change the colors here and uh, yeah just a nice little different light to use uh, then going into fuel tanks we have the LTS mark 0.5 core which is an interesting tank. As you can see here it's got a top bottom and then also two side attachment points and so we could grab another one of these and attach it over there if we so desired even though that's kind of a weird arrangement we then have a mark one version which is just bigger much much bigger and oh i had noticed this before what does that say on the side landing legs here interesting so <laughs> it does have flat attachment points there so yes you could attach a landing leg to the sides of these that is quite a nice little feature a fuel tank with uh, nice flat surfaces for you uh, we then have two more fuel tanks they're basically the same types as these two but just without the cage around them and are designed to be attached radially so we have the lts.5 and the L larger lts1 and there we go, and it has our lovely little flag on them. Very cool indeed. Let's skip these things for now, as we'll look at them in a minute. And then we move on to some other parts that actually were in the command section earlier. We have rover parts, which is quite cool. Again, why I say that this thing is eclectic. We went from structural to engine to uh, some science stuff, fuel. Now we're back up to command pods with an RTG rover. And this is just a nice little solid platform for you to build your rover off of. With, of course, your flag being prominently displayed on it. Yeah, it's, it's just a very nice little base for you to extend upon to build a nice little uh, rover with whatever you desire. Uh, we then also have another a similar one, a pimped Rover Mate XL, which is just a huge platform for making rovers. Very nice indeed. We then have the just larger pimped Rover Mate. There we are. It is simply a cube with electrical charge. Ooh, I didn't actually check that. Does this have... 
Yes, it does have electrical charge. It also seemed to have other things. Reaction wheel and SAS. Excellent. And uh, these also have that reaction wheel, SAS, etc. This one, though, these are all cool. Very nice bases for building rovers. This rugged rover, though, is my favorite. It is very, very cool. Because one, I like the design. It's got the little tapers in the front and back. You know, you just pop your wheels in here. Very cool. But again, I'm a sucker for animations. And you can open that and put things inside. Why would you, how, how could you not like that? Again, I'm just a sucker for animations. I don't know why, but I, I, it does it for me. I love them. So yes, just another lovely rover base with electrical charts, etc. And a fun little opening case area that you can pop, I don't know, scientific equipment in, something along those lines. Uh, we then have some simple solar panels. Uh, just some, uh, you know, nice large flat panels. Uh, which I'll come in two sizes, the small and large, really. And very cool little panels. I do like the texturing on them. A very nice and detailed, very cool indeed. Uh, we then have a smart version, the SSP Mark I, which is quite nice. It fits right on there. Sadly, I cannot extend them in here. We'll have to take a look at that animation outside in a moment. And uh, yes, uh, that's just another solar panel array, and we have a larger version of it. Also potentially useful for making your own TIE fighter, it would appear. I, I just noticed that now. Alrighty, very good, very good indeed. And lastly, well, technically I've got more parts to show you, but we're going to have to go to the space plane hangar for that. We have a bit of scientific equipment, a soil sampler. Once again, a very eclectic mix of things. Now we also have a sciencey bit. So you can toggle that again, sucker for a good animation, little drill comes down, I love it, takes a sample, pops right back up. A very cool, very nice little display here. I, I, I like that it's kind of a rusted panel, very, very Kerbal indeed, just sort of thrown together. I love it, I love it so much. And let's actually head over to the space plane hangar for the rest of the parts that we have on display here. Which, ooh, I don't think I went to the space plane hangar before when I started this new save file, so... I'm going to get that annoying, stupid pop-up. Oh, I didn't get the pop-up. Excellent, excellent. Very good. So, if we grab a Mark II cockpit, that should work out quite nicely for us. And head back to our manufacturer tab. We have a bunch of uh, parts for Mark II planes. For instance, this drone nose cone here that we have, which is, well, a drone nose cone. It's, it's a drone and a nose cone. It is very nice. You can toggle the flag, has electrical charge. Also, it is a command pod, of course. It is a probe, uh, which I, I like the idea of plane probe, so it is it intrigues the crap out of me. Oh, God, I keep clicking out of it. It has lift surface rating, reaction wheel, SAS, all the usuals, but also does include an air intake, so that is very nice. And, of course, it's, you know, a drone. And who wouldn't want to have a Mark II plane drone? Uh, then also in the nose cone area, we have a Mark II nose cone intake, so if we s flip that around, there we go, which goes quite well with this command pod. The inline command pod, just, you know, stick this stubby little nose in front of it there, and there you are, you have a interesting stubby nosed plane but it still is quite nice I, I do like that it adds something to the front of this because I've always kind of disliked this cockpit for that very reason that this never seemed to be anything right to put in front of it but let's grab those off and uh, back over here where after the nose cone we have a variety of couplers for the back so we have this mark II quad coupler Oh, no, I was the right way there. With four little engine mounts here, so two large and two small. Very cool indeed, and does have liquid fuel and oxidizer. We then have a, oh god, quint core, or quint coupler, where we have a five a selection of attachment points. A very nice indeed. A Mark II to 2.5 uh, meter adapter, which, oh boy, actually, no, that was the right way. Oh, uh, hold on. There we go, and then you can have a nice 2.5 meter adapter in the back to uh, put a large rocket onto. Very nice indeed. We then have a tricoupler, just three engine mounts. A wide tricoupler, which I really love this one. 
as you have a sort of the staggered look here. A very, very cool indeed. And uh, it does come with its own air intakes, liquid fuel oxidizer, etc. But yes, we do have those air intakes on the side. And yeah, you have three staggered attachment points for engines. A very, very cool indeed. I think this is one of my favorite parts in the pack. And then lastly, we have another wide tricoupler, but with some odd attachment points. It's kind of way out in the back, but it's, you know, similar to this one. You know, you've got the staggered points, but it's just a much more compact design. And actually, that's kind of kind of cool looking. You can make an interesting little shuttle with that. That would be quite cool indeed. But yes, we do have some save files here that were made by jo Dr. Jet to uh, show off what you can make with these sorts of uh, parts. Uh, one of which being this cargo drone, which is a single stage to orbit craft using, of course, this uh, little uh, drone nose cone. And you can just fly this right on up to the, your station in space. And, uh, yeah, drop off whatever it is that you need. Very, very cool indeed. I do like it. We also have an orbital taxi, which is another, uh, the only other one here in the uh, space plan hangar with this design. And it uses that cool staggered one in the back, so you have the nuclear engine plus jet engines for this to get into space with. Very, very cool indeed. And, of course, that large nose cone for taking in all the air it can possibly get. That is just... I kind of like it, but at the same time, it's it, it the, the nose cone honestly weirds me out a little, but I do enjoy it. Uh, but yes, yeah, so let's head back over to the VAB and uh, take a look at some of the other crafts that Dr. Jet has included with this to show off these parts. Probably should have looked at them when we were in here already, but oh well. Let's go. With, we'll only look at one or two of these. Let's grab the Rugged Rover. As that should, yes, that has my favorite part. Ah, uh, look at those doors open. And inside are batteries, scientific equipment, etc. And this is, you know, the sort of rover you can make with this pack. It's got the nice solar panels on top. You got all the cool parts hidden away inside of this thing. It's just a very, very cool design. And of course, the wheels just slotting right into these points. Very cool indeed. And we even have these headlights. Love it. Got to love it. And then we also have, uh, let's take a look at the Minmus Sample something. <laughs> uh, retriever, that's the last word in there. <laughs> Excellent. And on this one, we've got the fun little antenna that it had earlier. And uh, looks like several, yes, several sample takers, uh, which can always be toggled. Oh, I love it. And look at the drill. It's drilling into your screen. Beautiful, beautiful. And yeah, this baby could return from Min Miss quite nicely, bringing back all those delicious, delicious samples. But yes, that is going to be it for this episode, I believe. I mean, just showing off parts, really. No, no strange or crazy things to... Uh, actually, let's take a look at this lander. I'm intrigued by the basic lander. And uh, yeah, it does use those various radial tanks that we had earlier very cool very cool indeed but yes a very fun mod and if you would like to check this out for yourself you can of course as always follow the link in the description and yeah i definitely say to give it a go this mod is or this pack is just full of all sorts of really really fun parts for making just a ton of different crazy designs. This one's very similar to the other, but hey, eh, what are you going to do? But yes, a very, very fun mod pack with an eclectic mix of parts for really any type of ship you want to make. Very cool indeed. Go give it a try, and I hope you have enjoyed this episode. And of course, that you come back for the next. But until then, a thank you for watching, my friends. And as always, have a good one.